Hello friends. In this video, I will be talking about the object metadata. As we know, object is defined by user data and some attributes which contains metadata. So when we talk about the metadata, metadata is some information that defines the data. Now, metadata is of two types. One is system generated metadata and second is user defined metadata. If we talk about system generated metadata, there are two categories of system metadata. One is uh, that is controlled by system like last modified. Only Amazon S3 can modify this value. However, there is some system generated metadata that you can control. For example, the storage class configured for the object. So if we change the storage class, this metadata would be updated. However, this metadata is filled by Amazon S3 based on the configuration that you have done. So you cannot directly write this metadata. It is updated by system based on the configuration that you have selected. And if we talk about user defined metadata, we can define our own custom metadata and we either we can define it at the time of upload or we can add this metadata after we have uploaded the object. So user defined metadata is stored with the object and is returned when you download the object. Amazon SE does not process user defined metadata. So SC will not process the user-defined metadata. Now, this is the metadata that we talked about where user modification is possible, means you are able to override this information. We have the content type. Definitely, we can change the content type. This is the object type, whatever we have, like whether it's an image, whether it's a document, so that is the content type. Then we have the content MD5. If you change the content, this MD5 would be automatically generated. This is the hash for the data to verify the integrity of the data. Then we have following options. So all the options will start with X hyphen AMZ hyphen then the type of option. So this uh, signifies that it is a system generated metadata. However, you can override it. So XAMZ first is server side encryption. If you select server side encryption, it will be updated here. The storage class, what storage class we are using, website redirect location. So if we have any uh, external URL or any redirection configured for uh, the object, it will be updated here. Then we have the server side encryption AWS KMS key ID. So if we are using the AWS KMS, then the key ID will be updated here. The other one is server side encryption customer algorithm. So when the server side encryption with customer provider encryption keys is enabled, this would be updated. So this is the information about the user modify modification possible type of metadata. There are certain uh, attributes which are not, uh, you can say, available for modification by user. That is the date, the time and the date of the object of upload, content length, the size and bytes, last mod modified uh, time, then the version ID, and AMZ delete marker. So if you have versioning enabled and you delete it, you will have a delete marker on the uh, the object and this this boolean field would be updated then we can have a user defined metadata now it is a set of key value pairs so we can, we can define a key and we can add a value for example a very simple example that i can give you is you can define whether this object is if you example uploading the photographs so whether this is a category of family or whether it is a category of friends or something like this. 
So you can define this user defined metadata in a key value pair. Key is like uh, category and value is suppose like family. And it's always stores in uh, user defined metadata in lower case. So it's not case sensitive. Uh, we can uh, assign the metadata, uh, user defined metadata while uploading the object. And option information as a name value pair when you send a put or post request to create the object as well. So if this option value is not provided during the put or post create, there would be no uh, value here. And this is the, you can say prefix X, A, M, Z, meta. And then suppose if I, if I have created a metadata called category, it would be X, A, M, Z, meta category, which would be updated here. So the key would come here and the value would be in that, uh, you can say, uh, value part of this attribute. 